Make sure you stand till the end guys, we'll share common mistakes people make that can cost you thousands of dollars in damages. Stay with us, we'll explain what we're talking about. Hey guys, welcome back to Free Car Repair. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a Ford Escape that generation here from year 2013 to year 2019. If you guys have one of those, you have a problem where the AC does not blow cold, cool air, air conditioner doesn't blow cold air. Stay with us, works, but what can easily cause that? It could be guys super simple fix or it could be something more complicated, we'll talk about that. We'll explain where you can buy cheap parts and tools that way you do not waste money and time and why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. All that guys will be covered absolutely free for your convenience, make sure to stay until the end. So before we start, let us tell you a little bit about us guys. If you have that generation Ford Escape from year 2013 to 2019, this specifically is pre-facelifted version, this is the facelifted version. There will be some minor differences, we'll talk about that, but we'll make a video about every single possible fuse, relay, why we do that. Let's say guys, you're down the road in the middle of nowhere, you need to find where the fuse for fuel pump or engine starter is located, or relay for radiator fan, you can just search that on our channel, watch the video for less than one or two minutes find out where it is replace it in your back on the road we do that to save you money guys every single car we get here at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos why we guys do that because our mission here at the shop is to save you as much money as we can and we guys have more than 12,000 free repair videos on our youtube channels as well that can save you more than thousands of dollars in future repairs if you guys need to buy any parts tools fuses relays at a good price quick shipping that way you do not waste your money and time we will share the links in the description of the video below for your convenience make sure you stay until the end so guys what can easily cause the ac air conditioner not to blow cold air we'll demonstrate on that generation for the escape right here now you guys have multiple fuse boxes in that uh, generation for the escape that's the one before the facelift that's after the facelift but that's the same generation so it should work for both first we need to check three fuses and a re one relay in two different fuse boxes that control the ac system we will talk about that first so we need to open the hood under the hood on the driver's side you have a fuse box here open that cover underneath you'll find the main engine fuse box with a layout like this one before we guys continue, let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. So let me explain why it's super important guys to test fuses. Fuses, not often you can see if they're burned or they're good. Sometimes they may seem perfectly fine, you think it's a good fuse, you put it back in and you end up uh, spending money and time on parts and problems that uh, do not exist guys when all you have to do, test your fuse, find out it's bad, replace it, fix your problem. So we will have a video how to test a fuse, okay, different kinds of fuses and how to test relays guys. We're going to put the link in the description of the video below specifically to that video please check it out so if the air conditioner doesn't work we need to check one fuse one relay in that fuse box then we need to go to a different one check two more that will be the first thing to do because it could be super easy fix and if you need to buy any fuses relays parts tools for your ford escape or any car at a good price quick shipping we'll put a link in the description of the video below check it out you can save quite a bit of money We'll come in that lower section right here, if we zoom in, we need to check guys, fuse number 27, that 15M fuse, very important fuse. The relay that we need to check is fuse number 11 for the AC clutch, right here. Then we need to open the door on the passenger side. Once you do that, look under the dash upside down on the passenger side. On the bottom of the dash you have on the bottom of the glove box you have one soft carpet liner attaches with two turning knobs remove them pull the carpet liner down behind it you have a hidden fuse box that looks like this one now here we need to check guys fuse number 71 the fuse number is listed it's printed next to the fuse in the top right corner and we need to check fuse number 88 right here now, other things that can cause the AC not to work easily, guys, being low on Freon, you can get a recharging kit like that, plug it in, check the pressure on the gauge, if you have good pressure, you don't need to worry about that, if it's empty, you have a leak, common leaks are bad AC condenser, hose, AC hose, AC compressor, guys. Now, if you have pressure but it still doesn't work, it could be bad AC clutch, quite common. 
The AC clutch activates the AC compressor. We have videos on our channel how to replace AC clutch, how to uh, test AC clutch on forward vehicles. Another thing, it could be bad AC compressor. By the way, we have a video how to rebuild AC compressor. It could be guys bad AC pressure switch. This is the device on the high pressure AC line that detects if you have enough pressure for the uh, engine computer to activate the AC compressor. And if it's not working or unplugged, the AC will not work. Next, it could be something that most people don't think, but it could be bad radiator fan. If the radiator fan does not work, the engine computer will deactivate the AC compressor. That way the car will have a lower chance of overheating. Uh, bad radiator fan can cause that. Bad fuse for radiator fan or bad relay for radiator fan. We have videos on our channel where to find the radiator fan fuse and relay. Other thing, even though your AC system may be working perfectly fine guys, you still get, uh, uh, don't get cold, cool air on the inside, it blows hot. It could be a device known as blend door actuator. This is a little bitty motor behind the dash that switches from hot to cold. Often they do fail on higher mileage vehicle usually, but sometimes we had some fail at eight to 12,000 miles on some vehicles. I know it's crazy, but it happens. When it does, it's stuck in hot position. And even though the AC works, your heater will be blowing and you'll get hot air. We'll have videos on our channel how to test blend door actuator to find out if it's good or not. Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching. See you next time.